Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a trophy guide and roadmap for Fallout 4. This will be completely spoiler free so you can play the game without being hindered and having anything ruined for you. All I'm going to be doing is talking about how to get the platinum trophy, how difficult it's going to be, how time consuming it's going to be, so you have a pretty good idea before you go in. Let's dive in and take a look. <laughs> If you're a new viewer of this channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make new videos like this every single day on the channel, looking at the latest trophy hunting PlayStation PS5 news. So hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date. Today we are looking at Fallout 4. This is the latest Fallout game in the front. Well, technically that's not true. 76 will be latest, but we don't talk about that. Fallout 4 is one of the free games on the PlayStation Plus collection for the month of November. I'm making video guides for every single game in that collection, so go and check out those guides on the channel if you're looking for trophy advice on any of those games. Fallout 4 is about a 3 out of 10 trophy difficulty. Pretty easy platinum trophy to earn. It is time consuming though, and it does require multiple save game states, so you don't have to play through the game heaps and heaps of times. It's going to take you around 70 hours, that's between playing through the entirety of the game once and then playing the last section of the game multiple times as well. There are no online trophies in this one, thankfully. There are missable trophies though, and we'll talk about those shortly. There are no difficulty trophies. It only requires one full playthrough as long as you use save game states at the right time. There is no chapter select, and there are no trophy stacks for this game. In terms of trophy breakdown, there are 51 base game trophies. These are what's required for the Platinum Trophy. There was a bunch of DLC that came out for this game which pushes the trophy list to 85, but they're not required for the Platinum. For the Platinum Trophy, there are 23 story related trophies, 24 MISC trophies, 3 collectible trophies, and 1 Platinum Trophy. Steps to Platinum. Three, I mean, kind of simple-ish steps. The game is essentially a do everything, open world, the video game kind of experience. So play through the main campaign of it until you reach a quest called the Molecular Level. At this point, make a backup save. Then you can do whatever you want. It's, it's, it's very important because after this point, there's like a pivotal event happens in the game and you have to make a decision. You have to, you, you get to make three different decisions and you have to make a decision which impacts trophies and essentially locks you out of a bunch of trophies as well. As long as you make a backup save here though, you can continue playing through the game and then you can reload that save later to pick, to make a different decision to earn the other trophies. If you finish the game with the decision that you made, I would suggest then going back through the post game and clicking and doing everything on this save file as it's your, probably your main save file in there. And this is the core journey that you wanted to have. So go through and do all the kill based trophies, collectible trophies, side quest trophies with this save file. It doesn't matter if you do it during the main playthrough of the game or post game, uh, the game is still accessible to you, you're not going to miss out on anything there. Once you've cleaned up everything from that side of things, you can then go back through, load up that backup save file again and make an alternate choice playing through to the end of the game on that save file, and then you'll have to do that a couple more times to get each of the different alternate endings to the game. Those are the only missable trophies, so as long as, you, so as, long as you're smart about making that backup save at the right time, and then playing through the game and doing all the side content on your main save, you can just go back, back and play through the end of the game to get the alternate endings basically. These kind of trophies are frustrating. I don't like it when a game locks you out of content like this, especially at the very end of it, because it means generally you have to play through the whole game again. And 90% of the game is the same up until the very end. So it's, it's kind of a frustrating thing that they do that. Thankfully, in the case of this game, that backup save feature works really well, allowing you to prevent any missable trophies and still enjoy the game up until that point. And that's really all there is to it. If I go into any more trophy detail, I'm going to spoil stuff. So don't look at the trophy list for this one, by the way. There's a lot of spoilers in the trophy list. So avoid that as much as you can, because otherwise you're going to have the game ruined for you. Just like I said, as long as you make that backup save at the right time, you can't miss anything. So hopefully that helps. Remember, this is a massive game as well. It's going to take you a decent chunk of time. So if you are planning for going, this, going for this one, make sure you've got seven the hours up your sleeve at least hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if it was let me know in the comment section down below maybe you have some additional tips and tricks you can let the community know about put those in the comment section down below too but keep them spoiler free thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video bye for now